Okay, it's time to program your oak for the first time. Head to digistump.com, click on the wiki link at the top, scroll down till you find the connect your oak for the first time, scroll down on the next page until you find that link, highlight that, copy it. You want to do this in Firefox, not IE or Edge, and I'm not sure about Chrome, but Firefox worked for me. After pasting that in there, it'll take you to the config site. You're going to need a Particle.io account. If you don't have one, just register right there. Otherwise, just type in username and password and log in. Now it's going to connect up to the Oaks hotspot, which is called Acorn and then a five or six digit series of numbers. And once you're connected, you can go back to the site and click Next. Now it'll talk to your oak and pull up a list of access points. You want to go ahead and select your phone. Uh, for whatever reason, when you enable your phone's hotspot, uh, it works a lot better than your normal Wi-Fi at home. At least it did for me. And it'll go ahead and save those settings for you. And what it's trying to do here is an update uh, to get it to version 6 instead of version 1 of the firmware. And we're going to reconnect to the oak once more and see if it was successful. Nope, failed. This happens uh, several times uh, before you get it updated uh, successfully. Uh, so we just have to try again after recycling the uh, oak power there. Give it a second for it to come back up. On this next attempt, it was successful hooking up to the phone's hotspot, uh, but keep getting short, we had trimmed a bunch of that off. So this secondary server is slower, but it's uh, much more consistent and uh, updates a lot better. So this time it was successful. It got onto my phone's hotspot, but of course I want my phone's hotspot all the time. So then we, can, we go through this whole procedure again to connect it up to my normal house Wi-Fi. And connect back up to the hotspot again. So at this point, it's got the version 6 of the firmware technically version 1.0, but uh, the sixth iteration, I guess. And you see just, even though you've got the latest firmware connecting up to your uh, house Wi-Fi and still it has issues from time to time, so we try again. Find it in the list. Retype the password just in case you mistyped it last time. Not likely, but better safe than sorry. And it's going to reboot again to another update to itself. Okay, now we're going to reconnect back up to it. Ah, success. Now it's time to do a little programming. But first, we're going to have to tell not only our computer, but also the cloud, that uh, which is what your oak is registered to. We're going to have to uh, tell it we have to register it here. That's what that step was for. Very important step to take, by the way. And then we've also got to uh, run this uh, oak.exe file that you'll find at Digistump for download. And uh, that'll allow you to select which oak you have assuming you have multiples. Uh, you got to select it anyway, even if you have one. Okay, now it's time to open up the Adreno software and start programming. We're just going to do a quick little blink app here. For some reason, I was having a brain dump. I couldn't remember the uh, pin mode command. And the... Uh, LED pin on the oak is pin 1, so we're going to set it to out. 
And then we're just going to do a digital right to pin one high. And do a delay of a second. And then do a digital right to pin one low, turning the LED back off. And do another delay of a second. And then we'll just auto format that, and make it pretty. And before we do the upload, just kind of go through the board here, book by Digistunt. Not doing any overclocking at this point anyway. And to get all those boards in configuration, you've got to open up your boards manager, wait for it to download any updates it's uh, set to download, and then click on uh, type contributed and scroll down to the bottom and there you'll see the Oak by Digistump. Just click install. Mine says update, obviously. Once it's installed, then you can go ahead and, and do your upload. And this does take a bit of time for it to compile, especially the first time. And it does come up with several warnings whenever you compile for the oak. Uh, nothing to worry about. And it could just be my computer, too. Once it's finished compiling the sketch, it will upload it to particle.io, and then particle.io will then in turn download it back to your oak. So before the flashing, you can see how the uh, LED on the right, it's actually flashing three times, indicating that it's on a Wi-Fi hotspot and happy. And then once the, uh, the flash from Particle.io starts happening, it'll uh, blink rapidly showing that it's being uh, updated. If ever you're Updating this and it just seems to time out when it's doing the flashing. Uh, I've rebooted the Oak and uh, also rerun the Oak.exe uh, app and reselected it, and it tends to work after that. Now it's doing a reboot and then it's happy. Now we have a nice slow one second on off of the LED. And that's it. Piece of cake.